Bikron today introduced the Real SSD P300 for enterprise applications. Could you give us a little background on how this drive compares competitively and really why it's an important drive for our enterprise customers? Well, we think the drive compares very well competitively, and there's some third-party data to back that up that I'm sure you'll be directed to. Uh, we even give exceptional performance with the right cache disabled on this product. And it's important for enterprise customers because, uh, first of all, you know, we're, we're delivering enterprise-level reliability, enterprise-level quality, uh, and, of course, being a NAND supplier, we're, uh, we're able to provide the assurance of supply that enterprise customers need. Could you provide a little more background on really what you mean by write cache disabled? Uh, yeah, well, a lot of drives um, are sometimes operated with a write cache that allows the system to write data to the drive without it actually being written right away to the media. The problem is, if you pull the power on that drive unexpectedly, that data can be lost. And data loss is an absolute enterprise no-no. Right. So what this drive does is really optimize the write data path so that if you turn off the write cache, in other words, you you don't allow the data to temporarily uh, sit in the, in the SRAM or DRAM of the controller, but we get that off to NAND real quickly. So our performance, even with write cache disabled, beats just about any other drive. Mm -hmm. So this drive is a SATA-based drive. I've mm -hmm. heard lots of buzz out there about SAS and PCIe. Could you mm -hmm. give us a little bit of background on really what SATA means in the enterprise hierarchy? Well, first understand that enterprise doesn't mean that it's the same all over. Each drive has its place, and these SAS and PCIe drives have their place as well. Mm -hmm. But the predominant interface really for a lot of not just storage, but for, um, for server applications is still SATA. And so there's a, a huge demand for SATA drives, whether it's used directly in interfacing to the compute uh, su subsystem or whether it's used uh, with a bridge. Uh, it is a very predominant interface in the enterprise. There are a lot of players still in the enterprise SSD market. Do you think that that will continue? And what can you tell us a little bit about being a NAND manufacturer and the value that that brings to being within the enterprise SSD market? You know, this is really changing real time right now. There's a lot of coalescing of SSD supply around really the, the NAND manufacturers. It's for a variety of reasons, but the two main reasons are, first of all, technology. It is the NAND manufacturers that understand the technology and the technology roadmap and what it's going to take to, uh, to control and manage that NAND in an enterprise application. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, it is the assurance of supply. If you're a third-party SSD manufacturer, you're going to have a hard time getting NAND when NAND is, is tight. So the NAND manufacturers, again, have the advantage uh, in, a, in a tight market for, for NAND. Great. So I guess to recap here, you know, in looking into the future, what do you see happening for enterprise SSDs in the next 6 to 12 months or even longer? Well, it's an interesting time for, for enterprise systems, and certainly uh, the most interesting technology right now in the enterprise system is the storage. So drives like the P300 uh, really do offer some, some exceptional performance, but more than that, they offer some exceptional ratios, ratios that are really important in the enterprise application. Mm -hmm. It may be power per performance, so watts per IOP. It may also be cost per IOP. And finally, it could even be square or cubic inches per, per IOP in data centers that are cramped for space. These drives deliver exceptional ratios. So again, to reiterate, it's going to make it a really exciting time uh, going forward here with drives like the P300 with this level of performance. Great. Well, thanks very much for talking with us. Good luck with the drive, and we'll be in touch again soon. Thank you very much. Thanks.